So this is a bridge that has been 3D printed. Uh, it is off-site printed. It has been designed to IRC standards as a pedestrian bridge. The final form that you see here has come out of a process called material follows force. What that allows us to do is to deposit material where it is required. We can deposit more material in the highly stressed parts and less where the stress is lower. Following this process, we end up using the material very efficiently and what we have are lightweight structures. And this bridge is a demonstration of this material follows force. Using this principle, we uh, explored different geometries. Each of these geometries was stress analyzed and the stresses in each of the members were calculated and checked and uh, the best geometry which had the stresses within the permissible limits was finalized. The material, the concrete material that could be printed or printable concrete had to be developed and it was developed this material has to withstand the rigors of pumping and give us the characteristics of printability. So such a material was developed, it was extensively tested in our laboratory. The basic binder, which is developed for strength, is not actually suitable for printing. So engineering the material to understand the rheology and to achieve the printable properties would be the most critical aspect. So to, uh, to make it printable, the rheology needs to be understood and modified accordingly. So the rheology requirements for a printable material or a printable paste would be a high yield stress, a low viscosity and an adequate thixotropia. When it comes to concrete, the important parameters would be uh, particle size distribution and volume fraction of the aggregate and then the packing of the material. So only when all of these properties are engineered properly, a 3D printable material can be achieved. Then we had to uh, look at reinforcing schemes, schemes for introducing reinforcement in this structure. Several reinforcement schemes were tried. After testing the material and the structural forms, a smaller prototype of five meter span was printed and it was load tested. The load testing was uh, used to calibrate our numerical model, which helped us understand and gain some confidence in the performance of the printed structure. We tested cubes that were cut from printed specimens to account for any directional variations that might not be properly reflected in mold casted cubes. We tested them for compression and used those results to finally obtain the compressive strength of the mix. Next, we tested a few beams to identify and understand the behavior of the beams in flexure. We did the DIC analysis of the same to understand how it is behaving under fracture. After the geometry was finalized, we printed a few truss and arch elements. We used the analysis results and the actual test results to verify our theory. And only after that we undertake this process of printing a 7.5 meter spanning bridge, which now confirms to the requirements of IRC standards for a pedestrian bridge. It was printed in two halves. It was off-site printed. The off-site printing was done at Simply Forge Creations Limited, which is a startup company. They um, printed the entire uh, bridge, uh, the two segments of the bridge, uh, over a span of six hours. Simply Forge 3D Creation is a robotic arm-based complete 3D printing company. And along with IIT Hyderabad, we have developed India's first 3D printed bridge. So the 3D printed bridge installed at IIT Hyderabad is a seven meter long bridge, which was built in two parts. It had minimal re reinforcement and was built in a compressed arch geometry. In talking about the geometry, IIT Hyderabad had developed the geometry in multiple iterations, keeping the printing path in mind. The bridge was printed using Simply Creed, the material which is indigenously developed by Simply Forge, and it was extensively tested for rheology and other parameters by IIT Hyderabad to, for the qualifying criteria of the bridge. This again is one of the first designed 3D printed concrete bridge in India. And we hope it serves as a prototype for 3D printing technology, for developing rapidly deployable structures, and as a technology demonstrator for 3D printing technology in bridges and transportation infrastructure. <laughs>